Hi friends, I am Dr. B. V. Rao of Usha Clinic and founder of the websites qmedicaldoubts.boxford.com and raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicos. Today, I am going to discuss about the benign tumors of the rectum. The benign tumors of the rectum are of two types, adenoma and uh, villus papilloma. There are some other types but uh, are not common and uh, insignificant. Usually the features of adenoma and villus papilloma are not found in the same tumor. If found in the same tumor, it is called uh, papillary adenoma. Adenoma. Adenoma is the commonest uh, benign tumor of the rectum. It is composed of tubular glands similar to the glands of uh, Libacor, present in the fibromuscular stroma. In children, in children it occurs as a bright red lobulated pedunculated tumor in the lower rectum and is called a rectal polypus. At the at the time of presentation, the child is usually between 1 and 6 years of age, which suggests that the neoplasm commences to grow soon after birth. The patient is uh, bright, brought for advice uh, because of the passage of uh, bright red, red blood or uh, blood-stained mucus per rectum. If the pedicle is long enough, the adenoma appears at the, say, uh, at the anus during defecation, causing uh, tenismus and pain. On uh, digital examination of the rectum, the mobile rounded lump is uh, felt, the stalk of which can often be hooked beneath the finger, permitting the lobulous end of the tumor to be withdrawn from anus. Treatment. The treatment is the excision of the polyp and its stock by diathermy. Adults. In adults, the adenoma may give rise to similar symptoms and uh, can occur at any age. Often, the adenomas are multiple and are found on routine uh, proctoscopy and sigmoidoscopy in cases of rectal hemorrhage. Attributed to hemorrhoids, such adenomas are usually sessile but may become pedunculated and adenoma of the pelvic colon usually causes intussusception and uh, only a sigmoidoscopy and its uh, precise uh, origin discovered. Multiple adenomas of the rectum may be part of multiple colonic uh, polyposis either familiar or acquired sigmoidoscopy together with the con Contrast radiography of the colon is necessary to diagnose this condition. Children destined to be affected do not usually develop adenomas until between the ages of 12 and 16. Patients with multiple polyposis usually have associated osteomas and multiple sebaceous cysts. Multiple adenomatous polypi must also be distinguished from inflammatory pseudopolyposis occurring as a complication of uh, ulcerative colitis and from those of the hypertrophic uh, tuberculosis. With the exception of those occurring in children, adenomas are prone to become carcinomatous. The sign of malignancy is the tumor can be felt is in duration of its uh, base. Uh, this malignant nature will be detected microscopically after local excision. A recurrence after complete uh, removal and adenoma is uh, proof that a malignant uh, change in its uh, base has occurred. Adult patients suffering from adenoma of the rectum must be examined uh, sig sigmoidoscopically at intervals after the tumor has been excised in order to detect a possible recurrence. Treatment A solitary pedunculated adenoma situated in the lower two-thirds of the rectum is removed easily by drawing it down, ligating its base by transfixation and uh, dividing the pedicle with a di diaphermy knife. 
pedunculated adenomas too high to be delivered through and through the anus can be removed by diathermic snare through a sigmoidoscope. Sessile adenomas can be destroyed by a stiff insulated electrode for applied through a sigmoidoscope. Villus papilloma. Villus papilloma usually occurs in uh, middle aged or elderly. It has fine finger like uh, projections. It consists of columnar epithelium on a fine as, uh, connective tissue stroma. It is uh, velvety in appearance and uh, when in reach of the finger feels uh, smoother than adenoma. Untreated, the tumor grows to a large size and uh, sometimes encircles the rectum completely. Papillomas become carcinomatous. They may remain innocent for years. Most typical symptom is the passage of a considerable amount of clear mucus with uh, bleeding occurring at intervals. If the tumor is large, the changes may amount to 2 or uh, 3 liters of uh, mucus daily. Such a profuse uh, loss Loss of fluid containing a large contraction of the concentration of potassium may cause the patient to show all signs of severe fluid electrolyte and uh, fluid and electrolyte depletion. All villous tumors are potential carcinomas. These uh, grow growths, though less common than uh, adenomas, have a slightly greater malignant uh, potentiality. Treatment. It is a uh, treated by diathermic coagulation. In case of small papilloma, the patient is examined at regular intervals for recurrence. For large papillomas, especially sessile type, excision of the rectum is the only curative treatment. Some cases are uh, suitable for uh, conservative resection of the rectum. Fibroma. Fibro, uh, fibrous polypus is a common type. It is not a uh, neoplasm but is uh, due to fibrosis of a thrombosed hemorrhoid. Benign lymphoma. It starts as a circumcised mobile nodule form and uh, greyish in white to pink in color. It is uh, submucosal. It occurs at all ages and uh, both sexes. Has no definite capsule. Complete local excision is curative. Endometrioma. Endometriosis produces either a uh, constricting lesion of the rectosigmoid or a tumor invading the rectal form of rect rectum from rectovaginal septum. The latter gives rise to a very tender submucous elevation of the rectal wall. Endio endometrioma usually occurs between the ages of 20 and 40 years of age and uh, rarely at menopause. Dysmenorrhea with rectal bleeding are uh, main symptoms. On sigmoidoscopy, endometriosis involving the erectosigmoid uh, junction usually presents as a stricture with the mucous membrane intact. Should the correct preoperative diagnosis is established by biopsy, bilateral Uphorectomy is followed by regression of the tumor, rendering uh, resection either unnecessary or justifying purely local excision. Hemangioma. Hemangioma of rectum is a rare tumor, is a cause of a serious and if the neoplasm is large, sometimes fatal hemorrhage. When localized in the lower part of the rectum or anal canal, a hemangioma can be excised after applying good cells ligature when the neoplasm is uh, diffuse or lying in upper part of the rectum symptoms uh, simulate ulcerative colitis and often the diagnosis is missed for a long period at other times the neoplasm is mistaken for vascular carcinoma or error which uh, fortunately is uh, not often a cause for serious regret because the correct treatment of an ex extensive hemo hemangioma is the uh, excision of that portion of the anorectal bearing the neoplasm. Lesser procedures are uh, followed nearly always by recurrence and uh, renewed loss of blood.
the soul about the benign tumors of the rectum and in the next video i'll discuss about uh, some other disease thank you